Hey YouTube, welcome back to another coaching video. This is the second part to a champ slash GC1 coaching session that I did recently. Some more very important clips to help you guys improve at your own game. If you guys are interested in coaching yourself or just want to join our community, be sure to check out the link to the Discord down below and you can join the SSL Academy there. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Take it easy and yeah, good luck. Yep. Enemy just committed. I, I, I have more time than I think on this one because he technically went for that mid boost and there's no way he beats me to this ball if I went to that back boost. Yeah, exactly. Unless he pre-jumped also... the fuck out of it. <laughs> yeah, unless he pre-jumps like a crazy man. Can we also see his nameplate skill on the left there, you see it? Like yeah, yeah. Second. Yeah, it's like all this little, little, little bits of information we can pick up and it's going to make us feel so much safer just to drive up to this ball and set up just like a nice... Nice hook in, nice bounce dribble, nice O'Khalid, fucking 1v1, bang it in the far side, nice and easy. But yeah. And then if we do that, we're also not giving away possession, and we're also not leaving yeah. our teammate in a terrible 2v1 that, by the looks of the timeline, results in a goal. I mean... That was easily savable, I'm not gonna lie. But <laughs> I was waiting to see what you were gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that should have been saved. But if we want to be the best teammate, that was our fault. Because we yeah, actually yeah. passed to the opponent and didn't take our time. But God, that's annoying to watch, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, oh, stop. Nice kickoff. Steal their boost. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking here. Solo Q teammate, what's he gonna do? Gonna fucking steal that mid boost, even though he got the back boost. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Yeah, I mean, uh, even if we don't think about our teammate, I want to think about ways we can disrupt the... So we have, like, offense now, right? Like, we mm. have the ball, we have initiative. So I'm thinking about ways we can disrupt the opponent's defense. And a way we can do that is boost starvation. We just head over here, we yoink this, we turn around, and then suddenly we're supporting our teammate that's come up here to take the ball. Gotcha, and then not okay. only... You don't think that's a little opponent, too aggressive? No, 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 you think no, that's fine? You okay. gotta be super aggressive. And the reason it's not okay. too aggressive is because we can collect information here. You see? The information that we have? Yeah, he went he, to the other boost. He went to the other boost, yeah. So we've got this, again, once this kickoff happens, and we see that he goes to the right side, since we collected this information that he's over here, we have all this space to play with, like this corner it's all ours you know like no yeah. problem we have that comfort of stealing the opponent's boost and it may not have any effect like immediately because obviously this guy has 100 boost but if we like continue attacking over 10 15 seconds eventually this boost not being there might cause a problem for this guy who's looking for boost or it might cause a problem for this guy when he comes down and rotates back for boost so it's yeah. like long-term uh, aggression we're playing for there. Yeah. So he picks up 100 boost, this uh, naughty clinch guy, very nice name. And he starts heading back. He's using a bit of boost here, using a bit of boost. It's something I might do here. Now, this is like really aggressive. And uh, a lot of people wouldn't do this. But I don't think it's like very punishable. Just because I see your teammates like ahead of the ball, right? So uh, even if you're not in this game, and this is a 1v1 scenario with your teammate and the enemy, since your teammate is picking up the boost and is heading back in front of the ball's path and in front of the enemy, he's always going to make it back in time, right? Before the enemy, and he's always going to make it back to defend. So that allows you, like if you treat this just like a 1v1, you think you for a challenge? Yeah, I mean, you're not here, right? Like, just pretend you're not in this game. Mm -hmm. So now you can do whatever the hell you like, right? Like, you have free reign to do whatever the hell you like. And the idea that I have is that you... You could try and go for a demo on this guy. Mm, like, you okay. can play super aggressive. Just because you have that security of your teammate being ahead of the ball, ahead of the play, ahead of the enemy, you've got that space to cut in there and just be this ghost in the game, you know? And just absolutely okay, disrupt yeah, the opponent's play. I actually never even thought of going for that play. Like, out of all the plays that I could have thought of, I did not think of a demo. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, see how he wants to kind of like slow down here as well and take control of the ball. It's like the perfect place to demo him. Like he doesn't want to hit this too fast. He's slowing down a little bit, trying to take control of it. Okay. And that would allow you guys to turn around on the corner and then continue attacking. Only thing is, cut instantly left here and take that ball from him, but... Yeah, it's just a throw. I mean, the only thing, uh... This is, it's just like this, as soon as he screws up, it becomes like a really situational, mechanical reaction test, almost. It's not like too much game sense. The only game sense that's involved in this, and the only reason that uh, I would like, you know, in my head, I think I could save this. And the only reason I think I, I could Nadi save this. Hit it. What did you say? Sorry. I thought Naughty was gonna hit it. Uh, no, it's not that Naughty's gonna hit it. So here, as soon as it goes past him, we should have like a we have an audio cue again over the second manas. So if I'm gonna make a save here. And the reason I think I can make a save here is because I hear the second man, like, directly to my left, right? So I have an idea of where he is. He's like, without looking, he's like a direct line from the side of your car up towards the enemy's, like, side post. So he's like here, in this line. And since he's down this line and we hear him audio-wise, we know when he gets this ball, like, he's going to shoot like this, right? So you're saying, so, like, a pre-jump? Yeah, so we kind of need to just like pre-jump in this direction because we know his pathing, right? Off his audio. Again, this is like really situational, really mechanical, and really like uh, advanced just because our teammates screwed up. But like the, the way you can make that save is listening for audio and then thinking about this guy's pathing based off the audio you heard, right? And where the ball's going and stuff. Mm. So like when I told you where he was and then I drew the line, and then you can see kind of where he wants to hit it based off where he was, you know, like since he's here, he wants to put it here and cut in like this. So we can kind of assume that we need to cut this off here, right? Instead of us kind of like, so see how you drive into mid here mm -hmm. instead? Because we don't have any information of where this guy is. That's why you drive into mid, right? Yeah. Like. Because we're looking at the ball, we're trying to ascertain where the ball's going. Whereas, instead of looking at the ball and ascertaining where the ball's going, our main focus should be on where's this guy and where's this guy going, right? That's kind of like the second level thinking when it comes to this kind of play. That's kind of, uh, again, very situational. I don't worry too much about it. But just if you are wanting to think about a way you can save that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice save. Let's see if we can make this easier for ourselves in any way. So when, uh, so when we're in defense and the enemy has like uh, control over the ball or uh, initiative as I like to call it, it means they have like uh, a few options at their disposal, right? So when we see this guy going up for the ball, like have a think, what can he do here? What can he this can, fella do? He can soft touch it and take it on the wall again. He can pinch it on the wall and throw it way across. Yep. Um, he can pinch it to mid. He, he can, I guess I get a soft touch, maybe either play the wall, go for a doomsie, or he can pass that out to his teammate. He can do a couple things. Yeah, you have quite a lot of things he can do, right? Quite a few options. And we have absolutely zero idea which one of those he's going to go for at this present time. And since we don't have any idea what he's going to go for, we want to give ourselves like a chance to respond to that. And the way we do that is by taking a wider arc in defense, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of like cutting ourselves off with this tight angle, we want to come in just a little bit wider and l like let this play play out just a little bit more so we can kind of get an idea of how we want to counter this. Yeah, Whereas like I, I didn't need to rush it. Like I, I technically have more time, so I could have adjusted myself to be in a better spot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You just want to give yourself the chance to respond a little better. Whereas when we take this tight angle, almost following this curve directly, like, you see how as soon as anything happens, no matter what the play is, if it's past this area, like, we just can't respond to it, right? It's really hard. Obviously, yeah. you can respond to it. It just, it's really difficult for you. It makes it harder for you, you know? You're just making your life more difficult. And you do manage to make a really good save here. 
and so you did respond to it, but yeah, I'm just thinking about ways you can make our life easier. Nice pass to the right, maybe. Okay, so this was a. I'd class this as a dangerous play that worked out. So I'm a little bit against you touching it like this. Just for the sole reason that this guy should dunk you, like, pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, so what I would do here is, again, we have a little bit of information we can gather. And it's very similar to before. What do you think that information is? Well, the, that Mark guy is on his way back to boost. My teammate's already going back to the net. Um, the reason why I go for the pop here is because uh -huh. I see his car kind of like not on the floor yet, and I think I can beat him to it. So yeah. uh, at and least that's my him, like right? that's yeah. my like uh, you know thought process. Yeah, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you did beat him to it, so you are right. But uh, but it is dangerous, yeah, because he can just dump dangerous. the shit out of me. And against a better player, they will dunk the shit out of you. <laughs> like, 100%, yeah. you know? And, and, so which, and the way he's pointing, he could technically just score right off it, too. He could, yeah, he could score right off it. Or even just get possession is a, is a problem in itself. But So this is the same as uh, last game, where we have this, um, you know, moment where we see both of the enemies on the same side of the pitch. One of them's not really involved in the play. You know, what's the, what's the big thing with space we're thinking about here? <laughs> we have all this space over here, right? We have so much space. So again, if we play the ball around this guy into all this space, we can start to make up like manifest a play for ourselves, right? Yeah. So even if we just like slow down here, we fake him out. We can pretty much do anything. And see, like he's already pre-jumped, right? We can yeah. stop. Or even if you want to just cut in a little tighter. I could take a, a quick jump, throw it under him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, if I'm in your spot, I'd just go like, I'd cut in just a little bit to the left, and then I'd just put it to the right. Like, just flick it to the right. And then that way our teammates in the play with us, we're in the play when we come over here, we've got boost, we've got space, we can set something up. Again, yeah, it just gives us a lot more opportunity. Obviously this is looking really good because you got past him. But it could be extremely bad. Okay, so we're kind of assuming, so in this moment here, we have a lot of vision into the middle of the pitch. Um, I'm not sure exactly what our teammate is doing. Since I don't see him in the middle of the pitch, I'm going to opt not to pass here. Um, and I kind of want to just buy time for him. And I want to disrupt the play as much as I can. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to go and smack the shit out of the goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't know where this guy is. Because he's taking way too long to show his presence, like, here where he should be, right? Like, I'd expect him to be here. And you don't really see him in this... in your vision, unfortunately. Like, if I see my teammate in my vision here, then I'm gonna make a pass, right? It's really good. But since I don't see him, if I make a pass, I feel like I'm gonna pass to the enemy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal the boost. I'm just gonna let the bot bounce, do its own thing. And I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna go straight for this guy. I'm gonna damn one. That way I'm making space with zero risk, right? Because we know this guy's all the way back here, from the previous play. And if we demo this guy, even if our teammate is still over here doing god knows what, like, it's just chill, you know? There's no yeah, pressure, no nothing, there's just so much time, so much space, we can just reset, get possession again. It's just like a safe, aggressive play. Whereas this is a little bit risky because we don't see our teammate. And teammate blunders really badly. Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you found it helpful and if you did please be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment in the description and be sure to join the discord as well, it's a great community we're growing.